Welcome to Clean Tie video tutorial number two. Check in process. In this video, I will walk you through step by step process of Clean Tie check in function. Log in to app.cleantie.com. Enter your email and password to sign in. The check in is the most important function of the system. And you should make yourself familiar with every, every aspect of this process. The check-in function is used to receive customers' garments, make invoice, print invoice, and tag. You must open the cash drawer. Click on register icon to open the cash drawer. Enter your till float. You may set up a default till float in system configuration. If no cash drawer is connected, enter zero dollar to open the cash drawer. Press back to home page icon when you are done entering till float. Select check in to get started. started. Enter customer's last name, phone, or email to locate the customer. Select search icon to search by customer number or first name. You may select recall icon to recall previous customers that were served. Default customer's price list is shown on the top of the screen. Click on arrow sign to select a different price list schedule. Click on customer's name to go to customer's profile to view or make changes. Select Desire Service. Scroll to right to see more services. Select Desire Department. Scroll right to see more departments. Select specific item with proper price and option. Select color, brand, stain, damage, upcharge or release form. Select memo option to make notes. Press quantity to add more items. When doing alteration for the same item, select same item option to change quantity to zero. The item detail screen is used to capture additional information for the garment. The item detail screen can be disabled in order to speed up the process. Again, select color, brand, stain, damage, upcharge, release form, or add memo to select the item. Press quantity to add more items. When doing alteration for the same item, select same item option to change quantity to zero. Please note, item detail screen can be disabled to speed up the check-in process, or could be customized based on your business requirements. For additional information, please watch our price list setup tutorial video. To make notes, select Memo, then type your own memo. You may click on the arrow key to select pre-typed memo from the list, then press Apply Memo. Select plus or minus sign to change the quantity. Press item to change price, quantity, description, option, or apply discount by percentage or dollar value. Press the delete icon to delete the selected item or related options. Scroll right to see more services, departments, or items. Press Done when have checked in all the items. Or select New to make a new invoice for the same customer. 
Press hold to put invoice on hold to server another customer. Select quick check-in to make quick invoice with no price. Please note, quick invoice must be updated using invoice utility to complete the process. Select prepay option in order to get paid in advance or collect deposit. Default due date is automatically selected. Advise customer if the selected due date is OK. If not, select a different due date and time, then press OK to finish the check-in process. If prepay option was selected, the payment screen pops up. Select proper payment type, then enter the amount and press OK. Please note, as soon as the order is complete, invoices and tags are printed. For additional information on how to configure your printers, please watch our printer setup video tutorial. Thank you for watching this video. Please make sure to watch our other videos.